guys so today I decided to do some looks with some new products that I purchased just recently I um, took advantage of the 20% off sales that they're having at Ulta and I also took advantage of some of the 21 days of beauties but I haven't gotten those in the mail just quite yet so let me show you what I purchased and then we're gonna do a makeup look because I'm excited to try out these palettes I ended up getting the Morphe and Jeffree Star eyeshadow brushes I was really excited to get these I like Morphe brushes I know a lot of people don't like them but I absolutely love Morphe brushes they're super inexpensive they work really well on my eyes so I have no complaints about Morphe brushes whatsoever this package was $49 I believe but like I said I took advantage of the 20% off and at Ulta you can get 20% off of Morphe products so you end up getting a ton of brushes for a really inexpensive price which if you buy any Morphe brushes you know that they're anywhere between six to eight dollars depending on the brush you're gonna get so I was really excited to try this because normally I just go in and buy any random brush that I think I might like and like I said I'm usually spending about six to eight dollars by the end of buying all the ones that I like I end up spending about forty dollars or so so it was nice to be able to get a package full of them hopefully I'll be able to use all of these and like them as much as I like the ones that I buy individually so there's ten brushes all together you get an eyebrow brush and then you get like a liner brush and then all your blending brushes so I'm really excited to try these out I'm hoping that they work out really, really nicely for me today. Um, let me know if you guys pick this package up and how you are liking it or if it's not working out so much for you at all. Then I ended up getting a few ColourPop shadow palettes. Now, you already know makeup is super expensive. ColourPop offers really, really good prices for really nice shadows. So I ended up getting three new palettes from them. Um, these are not new palettes on the market, but they're definitely new palettes to me. And because I liked the Dream Street palette so much, I knew I was gonna like the shadows inside. So I ended up getting Yes Please, which is the one that has your peaches and some yellows in it. I'm excited about this one because even though we're moving into the winter months, I still like to do really light eyes for work and stuff like that. So I think these would be really nice to use for that type of stuff. And you also still get your dark colors in here. You get your yellows, you get your peachy colors, which peachy colors I think you can use throughout the year. So I'm excited about this one to do some looks with that. And hopefully those come out really, really nice. Then I ended up getting Sweet Talk, which is another pressed, palette, pressed powder palette. Um, this again is some more of your pinks and peach colors and some glitters in there. I am just drawn to these colors for some reason. I just can't resist when a palette is well put together to buy it. So um, even though I may already have some of these colors in this palette here, which I don't know if they're really, really similar, but I think that they're gonna suit each other very well. So I'm excited to try the Yes Please palette as well. Again, another palette that I think that I can use year round and get some really nice like neutral looks for work and then also do some really nice darker looks just for when I'm wanting to go a little bit more crazy. <laughs> then I also got X's and O's. Here, this is one of their darker palettes and it has some of your fall like color looks. So I'm excited to give this one a try as well. I think all three of these palettes are beautiful. I ended up buying these palettes before Kathleen Knights announced her 30 eyeshadow palettes. So I'm on the fence. I think I might pick that one up too as well because I do like ColourPop shadows. So we're gonna go ahead and do a look and I think I'm going to be using this Yes Please palette because it just, I love the colors in here. So I think we'll use that one today to do a look with. So let's go ahead and start that. I don't have anything on my face at all. I'm gonna go ahead and just prime my eyes and I'm just gonna use Soft Ochre. So I'll just use a little puff here and just prime my eyes. All right, now that my eyes are primed, I like the way this works really well because it does cancel out any redness and the lines that I have in my eyes. And it does a good job of not creasing throughout the day as well, even though I do have really, really oily lids. So I think we're gonna start off with the color Fun Zip. Fun Zip, which is gonna be this one here. We're just gonna throw that on with a little crease brush from Jeffree Star's collection, the Morphe JS10, the JS10. So I'm just gonna grab some of that and I'm just going to pack it right here on the brow. Let me get you a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. So we're going in with this one and just grabbing it here. I really do like Morphe brushes and I know a lot of people don't like them. Um, because they have issues with Morphe. I'm not a big fan of Morphe shadows. The only shadow palette that I really do like from Morphe is the one from Jaclyn Hill and then the, the Morphe 39A, the Dare, Create, Dare to Create palette. I like both of those palettes, but I have a few other Morphe palettes that 
I, I'm not excited about, so I don't tend to buy a lot of Morphe eyeshadow palettes, but when they come out with brushes, I just can't resist with their brushes. So far, that brush does really well. I had no complaints and I didn't think that it was gonna have I was gonna have a problem with it at all now most of these brushes are synthetic I think it's for one brush in this palette or in this package so I'm not sure which one is not the synthetic one um, I guess for me it doesn't really matter most likely it's one of these fluffy ones but I guess we'll see all right so I'm going to just go ahead and take the J12 here and it's kind of like a small little brush I think I'm going to start with, go oh, with champions here. Champs. Champs here. And let's see how well that works. Not a lot of fallout on these shadows, so that's nice. I'm just going to start here in the crease. That is a little light for my skin tone. Let's see if we can, oh. Let's go ahead and switch over to big cocktails. And let's see how that works. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay, so Champs is going to be something that I can use to um, smooth out my eyeshadow when I'm done, I think. It'll help make sure there's no harsh lines or anything like that. Big cocktail. Big cocktails is really nice. So, Just gonna go ahead and just put that right in the crease and up above the crease as well. And then anything that's left on the brush, I'm just gonna swoop it down into the V. Because we laid down Fun Zip, which is the whiter color, it'll help transition those two colors together and smooth those out, which is really nice. That's a really, really pretty color, big, big cocktails. I know it was a little late to buy in these, but like I've said in the past, I have so many eyeshadow palettes that I, I have a hard time just purchasing new ones just because I don't want to have an abundance of them and then, you know, not use them. So if you watched my declutter video, I'll put it in one of these areas up here, you'll see that I did get, a ri did get rid of a lot of them and my friends and family were really excited to get those palettes. So I'm excited that they're going to get some use out of them and I can continue to build my collection and hopefully rotate things out at the same time which is what I plan to do is to start, you know, slowly rotating things out and getting rid of it and getting new things in. There. All right, that is a really, really pretty color. It's really close to my skin color, which is okay. All right, so I'm gonna go in with Spoiled next. Same brush from Jeffree Star, and it is the, Jeff, the JS12. Spoiled is this pinker color here. I guess I can go here. It's kind of a pink color. I'm gonna go right in the crease with that and then the V. We're gonna start building this crease up here. I've never used this palette before and I think it's so pretty. Just I am so just like just packaging for me draws me in so bad. I don't know about you guys, you'll have to let me know what you how you feel about packaging, but some packaging, especially like these pink colors, pinks, if they're well put together, I just I can't. I just keep I always have them in my car and then if some kind of a sale comes up, I just, I can't resist and buying them. Even if there's something that people have been using for a while, I don't care. I just, I can't resist it. So I'm just putting this right in the crease and in the outer V area. These are actually blending super nicely, even though I didn't throw down any kind of powder on my eyes, other than just the powder. They're blending really nice, which is really nice for me. And these brushes so far are doing really well. All right, so now that we've got those two colors in there, I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush this time, and it is the J5, and it's like this. I'm gonna take some of that Champs here, and just a tiny bit of the cocktail, just back and forth, and just kinda swoop it over the top here. There we go. All right, so far those three colors blend so nicely together. I have no complaints whatsoever. All right, I'm gonna take another brush. And I think we're gonna go into one of these shimmer colors. So there are three shimmers in here, no, four shimmers. There's four different shimmers in this palette and I'm not sure which one I wanna use yet. I think I'm gonna go in with this shimmer color here. There we go. And I'm gonna just take it on 
that flat that flat brush from Jeffree Star, the number 10. Let's see how that works. And I'm just gonna push it right into the lid. Just pack it right in there. That's a pretty color. It does really well with the brush, but I bet you if I wet the brush or if I was to use my fingers, it would do much better. So I think we're gonna do a wet brush first and see how that works. So I just went and grabbed some on my brush and I'm just gonna take some of my um, Smashbox setting spray. And basically you just wet the brush and let's see how that does. I think it did a little bit better with a wet brush. I'm gonna go ahead and just take the number five brush again from um, Jeffree Star back into Big Cocktail and Champs. I'm gonna blend this out just a little bit more up top here. Seems a little harsh for me. All right, now I think we might wanna do butter, butter cake, which is going to be the gold color here. I'm gonna take it on, let's see here, just this tiny little elf brush, and it's like their concealer brush, I think it is. Let's see, I'm gonna grab some on here. Let's see how it works without spraying it first. So, right in the middle, draw a line right down the middle of my eye. Doesn't want to show up that way. Let's do concealer, and maybe that might help. I don't want like a cut crease or anything. I just want to draw like a blank spot for the shadow. See how it performs by itself. Okay, let's go back into Buttercup, Butter Cake. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. That's what we needed. And I'm just pressing it right on the lid. Then I'm gonna take the J12 brush again and go back into Spoiled. And just kind of fill in those sides there. Something like that. I think I'm gonna take French Kiss, which is gonna be this darker color, just a little bit on that same 12 brush. I'm just going to just deepen this outer V. I'm just gonna stamp it on there and then I will just, there we go. Nothing too dark. And it could get really dark really quick, especially with this darker color. So I'm not using too much. But I just want to see what it does. And I'm just run it right in there. Just connect them. All right, I think. That's where I want to stop there. So I should maybe try the yellow in the palette. Since I haven't tried the yellow yet, I will take the smaller brush from J. <laughs> I'll take the smaller brush, the number 13 brush, and I'm going to go into Mischief, which is going to be the yellow there. Put it right here. Just a little dot, not too much. Barely see it there, but it's there. Just like that. I think I'm gonna take this one here, which is kind of like an orangey colored, but that one has a little bit of shimmer in it. And I'm gonna take some of that cupcake as well. better. Two shimmers. There we go. You can see that. It's picking that up there. All right. So I will put the rest of my makeup on. I've just been using really, really light foundation lately because 
summer. <laughs> so it shouldn't be too long. I'll be right back to show you what the finished look looks like and I will talk to you guys in a minute. All right, so this is how the finished look turned out. I think it did really well. I love the colors in this palette. I'm excited to start using this and start using some more of the colors in here. Even though it's more of a summery type of palette, I think that I'm going to definitely get a lot of use out of it during the winter months, especially with some of the items in this row here. You can see that that could be really, really nicely, really, really nice for the fall months. And then again, you have this side here that could be really good for summer months or just year round. I did use this big ego, our big ego from Tarte that I got in a boxy charm not too long ago. I didn't like this mascara. You have to let me know if you guys like this mascara. Those of you that got this in the Tarte box or got this in the I think it was BoxyCharms or Ipsy, I'm not sure what it was, but it doesn't do nothing for my lashes. I was really disappointed with because I do love the Hourglass um, brush, but I think the brush bristles are just too far apart from each other that it just didn't work out very well for my lashes. So I do use it, but I actually have to use another mascara on top of it to get some kind of volume and thickness to my lashes. But that was it for this Get Ready With Me, kind of testing out this new palette to see how it works out for me. I actually love this palette. I'm excited that I picked it up. I'm excited to try the other ones. I'll definitely have up some new videos with those other palettes and I have some other palettes too that I haven't actually shown on my channel that I'll be doing some looks with as well. All right guys, I hope you guys have a great afternoon. Let me know if you have any questions about this palette and I will talk to you later.